everyone. Welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and build update number one of the Ford 29 Model A Roadster 2-in-1 kit. I'm going to build this as the, uh, the A, I guess, in the directions. It sits a little higher and it has the blower on it. So yesterday I spent a good, easy three and a half hours um, cleaning all the mold lines, panel lines, and all that off of uh, everything. So today I could start priming. And primer went down smooth as silk. I couldn't ask for any better. Geez, Zach, you're hiding over there. I couldn't ask for any better with this. Um, so I did everything. <laughs> And primer, it took me all of about a half an hour to prime it. The engine is very nice. I drilled for my spark plugs. Not exactly in the right spot, but they're pretty close. But I had to drill them there because of the uh, way the headers are made. They have the bridge bar going across the headers. So I wanted to get these drilled. I'll put the wires in and out after I paint it, of course. I'm going to put the wires out, put the headers on, and then bend the wires up and route them back. So that's my plan with that. The engine is going to get painted the same color as the body. The transmission, I'll go with the aluminum. There's going to be a lot of black in this one. So I figured underneath, I'm going to do like I did with my Chevelle uh, Pro Street, and I'm going to do an aluminum pan under here. The top will do the carpet, but I'll do an aluminum pan underneath it, and I think that'll really, really look sharp. The seats, and I'm just pulling these over. I don't have, I'm not going to go through all the parts. The seats and the door panel, they have some fantastic detail in here, and what I'm going to do with that, with the seats, and I'm going to try something I haven't done yet, is I'm going to do um, all the uppers and the lowers, including the panels, with a uh, with black, and then the uh, pleated part I'm going to do with um, an old bottle of Folk Art Ivory White that I have. I made sure it shook up. I ran it with my um, Badger uh, paint mixer, and it mixed up really well. And it, it's got to be 15, maybe close to 20 years old, but it was never see. I just broke the seal on it yesterday. And uh, I think it'll work out good. So there's that also. And I think this came out really, really good. I used the accent color, which I'm pretty sure is the same as the uh, apple barrel black. But just make sure it doesn't gloss up on you. Try it on something else. But I did the uh, grill in that real quickly. There's two coats. I thinned it out just a smidge, and then I painted that. I think it came out perfect. We're not going to mess around with that anymore. And I'm really looking for the uh, the super bright chrome on this. So we are good there. The other thing I did is, let's start with this side here. The uh, Baby Moons, I did panel liner in them yesterday, the Springs. The shocks, I just did a ring. I did the uh, steering wheel I'm going to use. Uh, the outside is going to be a gloss black, so I think that's going to really jump. And this car is going to get lit. Um, I decided I'm going to run the wires right into the base that I'm going to make, because this is going to go with the uh, uh, 42 that I or 32 that I made. I panel lined all the ribs on the valve covers, the transmission cover, oil pan, and uh, water pump. And I also did the alternator, which is extremely nicely detailed. I hope you can see that. The blower, which this will be my first blower, so I'm excited to get going on there. Um, that's about it with the car. If you want to stick around, I've had people ask me if I can show you my visor. So let me stop the film. If you want to jump out now, thanks for watching and I appreciate everybody's thumbs up and subscriptions. If you want to stick around for just a second, I'm going to take the camera out and get a better view of this so I can show you.
Okay, this is my visor. Um, it's on the heavy side. I mean, it, it is it is weighted. I had to tighten these things up pretty good. When you lift it up, it wants to slowly sink down. But I love this thing, and here's the reason why. It has two lenses. So I can have the one down, and I'm not sure what size lens this is. I think this is a two and a three. But the nice thing about this is... Say I'm with a two and I got to get really close with that four odd brush. I can flip this one up and now it's a, now it's a uh, five. And I just, you got to get your head in a little bit closer, but it works for me. It did have an LED light on it. And like I said, this visor with the two lenses on it is heavy enough. So I got rid of that. And to be honest with you, the light on it sucked. But the lenses are really, really sharp. I mean, they're, they, there's no distortion in them. And the other nice thing is, check this out. It came with a pack of um, five. Well, there was one on it, and then this holds four. And they're, they're numbered on the top, number whatever, for multiple, or magnification. So you can swap these out with what you want or what works for you. And uh, then in the back, it just has a quick tight knob just like every other one. Um, I love this thing. I really do. I, I had an old one. It was a single lens deal. It was a ton lighter than this. But to be honest with you, after you use it for, I don't know, a couple of times, you kind of get used to the heavy the weight. And it, it is forward heavy. But you will get used to the weight, and I think the weight or the the benefit of the double lenses, which I do use quite a bit, outweighs the weight of the visor. Um, not sure what this is from, but I know I can find the link on Amazon, and I will drop that down in the description. So there's my visor. I hope that helps everybody that's been looking for one. Uh, I'll let y'all go now. I'm Mark, and this is Grandpa Mark's Hobbies. And y'all have a great day.